it's really important important after any pilates session that you stretch out the other way we're doing a lot of bending and curving and your back needs to stretch so here's a very quick stretch to do at the end bring yourself down onto your tummy relax those feet hands under your shoulders and you're going to snake up so just come up as high as you can and see if you can push those shoulders away from those ears push your hips down get as best back bend as you can and then slowly roll yourself down we're going to do it again this time i want you to think about leaving with your breastbone so you're really pushing your breastbone forward then you get to the top and push your shoulders down squeeze those hips to drive yourself into the biggest back bend that you can and then slowly come down we're going to do one more of those, staying up at the top. So leaving with your breastbone, coming up, shoulders, hips, stay there, and then tuck your toes and come into plank. Pull on that tummy and drive yourself back to volcano. So in this position, you're looking at your feet, seeing if they're near, parallel with the outsides of your mat. Stick your tailbone right up. See if you can drive your head down through your elbows. And we're coming into plank. Perfectly planked. Back to volcano. Perfectly planked. Back to volcano. And the way to finish is take the weight on your hands and jump forward to crouch. Pull your tummy onto your hands. And then slowly roll yourself up. And that's how you finish every Pilates session.